I'm very excited to share my Salesforce self-assessment checklist. This checklist is going to be a game changer for your Salesforce certification journey. Now, I've been teaching the Salesforce Certified Administrator certification exam material for five years now. I've taught over 130,000 students at the time of this recording. The administrator certification represents the fundamental and foundational knowledge that you need in order to be proficient on the platform. And so what I've done in creating the self-assessment checklist is I've really studied closely Salesforce's own exam guide, which I'll provide a link to that exam guide and the exam outline in the description, just hit the link down below for that. Now you'll notice if you look at Salesforce's exam guide that the administrator exam is divided into multiple knowledge areas. Then as well, they provide the weighting for each of those knowledge areas. So I've divided the checklist into the different knowledge areas. I've also included the weighting for each of those areas. So in creating the checklist, I've taken the Salesforce exam guide and really dissected it line item by line item and bullet point by bullet point. I've also found that many of the bullet points contain four to six different topics that you need to understand. And so it's not just a matter of being able to check each bullet point, but what I've done is I've dissected it down to each topic level. So be sure and check out the Salesforce self-assessment checklist link down below in the description. That'll take you to that checklist, which will be a PDF that you can print out and fill out. So what you'll find as you use this checklist is whatever your number is, that will help you to identify which knowledge areas and which topics you need to spend more time understanding and learning. Also on the checklist, I've made hyperlinks for each of these topics, each of the 97 topics that will take you to that individual help article from Salesforce themselves. So if you're not sure about one of those line items or multiple line items, simply click on the link and that will take you to Salesforce's own online help so that you can learn the material and also understand what you need to know in order to pass on the exam. And so as you're working through your studies, working through my content, filling out the checklist, working on Trailhead to supplement your knowledge, and scoring yourself in the checklist over time, perhaps week over week or month over month, you can self-assess and do updates on the checklist to see how you're progressing and over time you'll see that number go up and up and up. So this is something that is not necessarily a one and done sort of proposition, but a checklist that you may want to fill out multiple times in your own learning journey. And so I want to ask you a favor. If you found this video helpful, what I'd like for you to do is to come back to it and leave a comment after you've completed the checklist for yourself and share what your score is down below in the comments. Also, as always, please like and share these videos and subscribe. Hit the bell so that you get notifications for all of my upcoming videos and I'll see you in the cloud.